Good morning, or should I say good shaky morning. Um, it is uh, Labor Day weekend, Sunday, September 6th, whatever, let's just say 6th. And I'm about to start my Frederick Half Marathon virtual. I don't know if I'm going to do a video. It's been a really long time since I've done one, and clearly my filming skills have not improved, but I don't know, I'll just start. Oh, gosh. Mm. I am smelling the salt water and the marsh and oh, it smells so good. I am at the beach, <laughs> clearly, and I thought there's no better way to run this than to start on the boardwalk. So, here we go. I think I have enough pink on. I'm not quite sure. Yes, I think I have enough pink on. So, let's go and have some fun. By the way, I'm a little undertrained for this and I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> And now I gotta hurry to make the light because I'm gonna see the sunrise. The light. Jacks. Eh. There's like no traffic out here. But I'm afraid of jaywalk. <laughs> I'm such a rule. Okay, the woman over there is jaywalking. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ah, I don't like to jaywalk. Ah, I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. <laughs> okay, okay. Make it to the boardwalk. Now, if you're going to run on the boardwalk at Ocean City, you must first come here and give it a little tap. I do it with the back of my hands because I'm a germaphobe, even before coronavirus. Now, look at this. That is my idea of the boardwalk. And where's the sun? It's coming soon. I just love it when you see people out early enjoying the beauty you know makes you feel like you're alive okay i'm gonna start for a bit here we go you must come here to riptide i think this is 26 and get a dirty banana i don't know what's in it but dang gone it's good it's getting closer this reminds me i have to add my she, she <laughs> i have to add my seashell this summer isn't that cute Like I come to the beach a hundred times and watch a hundred sunrises and it will still always be just as spectacular. And there it is, sun has risen. All right, back to work. So clearly I am not worried about time with this. I'm just gonna take my sweet old lollygagging time. I'm doing um, intervals, uh, like minute, 30, 30 second breaks. So we'll see how that works out. If Bob was here, I would make him Take a picture of me on this. It's also a cool place to come. Hammerheads. Actually, we haven't been on the boardwalk at all this year, even though we've been to the beach numerous, numerous times, just with COVID, we didn't feel comfortable. And once it gets crowded out here, which it will soon, I'm gonna duck out onto uh, Baltimore Street. By the way, if you want really, really amazing lasagna, come here and it's not pricey at all. Oh my God, it's so good. Shenanigans. Does anyone else miss the Team Shenanigans podcast? I do. I don't know how well you can see this. The sun is right behind us, but this artist has been doing these um, Christian sand sculptures for 30 years. I cannot remember his name right now. I'll have to put the, the link below to his website. Let me see if I can get that a little bit better. Yeah, it's about as good as it's gonna get, folks. Truly gorgeous, truly stunning. Never in 30 years have they been finalized until this year, like uh, during a senior week. Not that seniors did it, I'm not saying that, but someone did, and it was quite upsetting to all of us locals and semi-locals and everybody, because who would do that, you know? Very sad. Okay, I am at 169 and oh boy it's heating up it's gonna be a long run y'all okay see this store one day I am going to tell you all the story behind the store and the significance it means to me and not in a good way quiet storm something that happened here brought on 
a very bad quiet storm for me that lasted 20 years. Long story short, I was, gosh, 23, 22, and I was wearing a bikini top and a little skirt looking very cute. I hadn't purged in six months. I had been bulimic since middle school, and some salesperson asked me if I was pregnant, and I was like 115 pounds. Clearly did not look pregnant, and it just, mmm. We'll talk, we're gonna talk later about that. But for now, look, greetings from Ocean City, Maryland. Folks, I love Ocean City, I do. I love it, I love it, I love it. This one's new. Aw, how pretty is that? I think this calls for a selfie. So much I could do with that light, woo! Onward! Shark attack. Life-saving museum. Very cool place to visit. And look! You're gonna see a pretty, pretty view in about two seconds. Well, maybe more than two seconds. We've never gone here. And we always say that we're going to. Maybe tonight. And look! One must touch. A lot of people come here to look for dolphins. Would it not be awesome if we saw one? This inlet was actually created by a very bad storm. Hope you can hear me. A very bad storm. God, I wonder, gosh, what year was that? I'll insert it because I cannot remember it right now. Okay, see this 1,210 pound tiger shark? shark it was caught by a lady named grace and guess where she was from jackie buffalo new york mm -hmm. you go grace and this is the inlet village i just love this area little jewelry shops knickknacks stuff that you really kind of don't want to buy but you love to look at and think about buying but then you put it back and save your money but still very cute maybe i shouldn't say that oh boy little dog store. <laughs> Here's the frog bar and grill. One of Bob and I's favorite place to have breakfast. Is this not cute or what? These tables are new. Oh wow, and they extended it. Look at this. There was a tree here and I guess they took it out for more seating. Wow, yeah, a lot can happen in a year. But we like to come here and look for dolphins. Are we going to get lucky? No, not this morning. Oh, there's a mermaid here. But hey, frog is cute too. All right, let's get back to it. And by the way, why are people giving me odd looks? Have they never seen a running Pepto-Bismol bottle before? I mean, come on. They just need to understand that some girls are just born with glitter in their veins. Mm-hmm. Who's with me? Some cute jewelry here. Mm. So I don't know where I'm at with intervals. I'm gonna take you back here to Trimper Rides. Because I wanna see something. I don't know if it's here or if it's somewhere else on the boardwalk, but we're gonna look, okay? Hold on. Okay. I don't see it but I'm gonna find it it's the um, world's oldest hand-painted carousel and it's not here by the way if you're running in Ocean City and the boardwalk gets too hot here's where you want to be Baltimore Avenue you're gonna have tons and tons of luscious shade <sighs> so you see all those police vehicles right there well while I was running through there, reefer, pot, galore. I actually had to cover my mouth to keep from breathing it in. Although it might have made this video a little more interesting, but I can't even stand the smell. Let's take a quick trot up the fishing pier, shall we? Lots of 
relax. Hello, Ocean City. Good morning. It's where we had a total blast one night getting old time photos. I still get upset when I see this. Just because some gal wanted to be mean and petty, I end up relapsing for 20 years. Nice, honey. I wish I would have gotten this on video, but some cat caller yelled out and said, go Pink Power Ranger, get those miles in. <laughs> Pink Power Ranger. I like that. I like his style. I thanked him quite nicely because I'm going to need some encouragement to get through this. Ah. This is our favorite place to have breakfast on the boardwalk. Brass balls. Okay, he and some husband came out to deliver me some water, sunblock. You're a good guy. Bob and I were going to go along the highway, but we have decided to come down what we call Fancy Street. <laughs> so named because of the fancy houses. Fancy. I love this one. Aw, oh, fancy. Small humble house with, with the yeah. stone island. Ah, cute. Just stopped to take a view and I wanted to show you the prettiest view of all Ocean City. Well, maybe not all, but one very pretty view. Can you imagine waking up in the morning? and looking out and seeing that. So gorgeous. And my phone is almost dead. Babe, my seven, my iPhone seven, it's hanging in there, but. <laughs> yeah, no, I love it. We can't get the 11 anymore. We're gonna get the 12. Now look at this view. It's one of our favorite areas. I love that house right there. They just redid it. All right, babe, 11.51. I am ready to call this a day. I'm not gonna lie. Bob told me to get my butt moving then, which is true. <laughs> oh my gosh, people are over there feeding seagulls. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, it's gonna be a poop storm around here. Hello again. It is now Monday and I am on the beach. It is a glorious, glorious day. Perfect weather. And I came out about nine o'clock and I met the kids and Bob for lunch at Fishtails, which is one of our absolute favorite places to eat here at the beach. And I came back out just to chill, relax, read, and I actually put together the video. How about that? <laughs> and I realized by doing so that I never really finished it. <laughs> I kind of put it out there at the end because it was, it was hot and I was getting tired. But I had a great race. Of course, you know, races this year isn't what any of us wanted. It is what it is though, and we're making the best of it and rolling with the punches. And I, I did have a great run. There was just like some lovely moments that I wish I could have captured on film. Uh, for example, when I was on the boardwalk coming up to the sign, you know, I checked over my shoulder to make sure I wasn't going to run into a, a bike. And I saw like these four gals on a quadra cycle, quadra cycle, I think I'm saying it right anyway. And they're like, no, Madonna, you go on, you go on. <laughs> they're calling me Madonna. And I actually saw them later on by the bay on a side street. They're like, Madonna, how was your run? <laughs> you know? So they were kind of cute. And then of course I have pink Power Ranger dude. I mean, how can you not love him? And then I'm um, near the end when I was running up and down in front of this like very shaded, uh, uh, like condominium, this little boy and his grandfather were cheering me on. And you know, I was running up and I saw the grandfather whisper to him and all of a sudden the, the little three-year-old just like took off and started racing me. And of course he, he beat me, he kicked my can but it was like a really cute moment. I stopped at a yard sale and bought some things. Um, just little lovely moments here and there. Um, so, and oh my gosh, my time. So I cannot, when I start, when I stopped my Garmin at the end. Um, I, I don't have my glasses on, so I couldn't see the time. So I just took my little selfie picture, you know how we all do that. Uh, and then I posted it on Instagram, still didn't read it. And then I saw a comment left by Heather. She was like, I'm like freaking out over your time. So I looked at it and I ran 13.11 um, miles with an average pace of 13.11. What are the odds of that happening? I don't, even if I tried to do that, I would never be able to accomplish it. So that was 
That was one little little cool thing from my run. Okay, yeah, not gonna lie, that was pretty cool. So anyway, I think that's it. Um, do I have anything else to add? Where was I? There's some things I left out in the video yesterday. First of all, uh, the storm that brought in uh, the inlet, that formed the inlet was a hurricane in 1933. Very bad storm, but the inlet has been very useful and a good, because uh, it connected the bay to the ocean. Uh, what else? Uh, trumpets, okay, so trumpets, the carousel, it is still here, but trumpets has an indoor door area too, and that's where it's at. So I'm gonna have to go back one day and see that, because it would be cool to see that carousel. Uh, one more thing, my apologies, I haven't really uh, been very active uh, with Joyful Miles. I haven't been posting videos or doing any blog posts. I kind of need to take a step back in order to focus on my writing career. It had been very hard to juggle both, you know, over the past four years. So I needed to kind of take a step back, you know, find my voice again, um, find my passion and get a novel done. So I have been working very hard on that. I am coming back. I am. Um, I would love also to finally, oh my gosh, I have so many race recaps to get caught up on and I am going to do it and they will be lovely little flashback memories. Until then, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave, uh, tell me how you're doing, how you've been holding up uh, in the comments and as always, take care and have a joyful day.